Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. In today's video we will go through how we wire up an encoder to a Mitsubishi FX0 PLC and how to make a simple program with it. Let's first go through the wiring of the encoder. First we will need 230 voltage AC to power up the PLC. Depending if we use PNP or an NPN encoder we will need to either connect 24 plus or 0 voltage minus to the S slash S terminal. The encoder I am using is an NPN encoder. This means it sends out 0 voltage signals from the phases. So in my case I will have to connect 24 voltage plus to my S slash S terminal. From the encoder I am using there are four wires. Two wires for the 24 and 0 voltage DC. Then two wires for the A and B phase. From the red and black cable I want to connect to the PLC's 24 and 0 voltage DC output terminal, which will give power to the encoder. And the A and B phase we can connect to any of the digital input terminals on the PLC. I will connect them to digital input 0 and 1. This is basically how we wire up an encoder to a PLC. Some encoders also have a Z phase. That phase will pulse once per revolution of the encoder. Now let's do the programming in GX Works 2. First let's create a new project. I am using an FX0 PLC in this project. Although this tutorial will work with all FX series of PLC that are available in GX Works 2. First we want to add a memory bit that will start the encoder. The encoders in Mitsubishi FX series are given an address from this chart. Since my encoder is an A slash B phase encoder it will be given the address C251. We can find this chart and more functions in the FX manual. I will leave a link in the description to it. Then I want to add another memory bit that will reset my encoder's value back to zero. Let's download the program and test it out. First we need to modify the value of our memory bit to activate our encoder. Now you can see it will count up and down when I spin the encoder. Then if we want to reset it back to zero we modify the value of memory bit 1. If I now turn off memory bit 0 and then try to spin my encoder we can see that nothing will happen.
Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.